Hello, Victor Tay from the church in Liverpool. Now this Sunday I preached on Ephesians chapter 4 and the main themes of this chapter are unity and edification of the local church. You know, unity is a really good indication that the Holy Spirit is working in a church. So what are some ways that this chapter talks about that we can have unity? Well, the first section talks about um, humility and shared value. So we don't just want unity in the local church at any expense. The Bible tells us that the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable. So we want unity in the truth, not just unity absent from the truth. The second section of this chapter talks about gifts that Jesus Christ has given to the church. And this is not gifts of the Holy Spirit. These are actually people Firstly, apostles, then prophets, then evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And these people help to unify and to teach and encourage the church. Now, you don't need any man to teach you the things that you can learn from God's Word because we have the Holy Spirit, but people who are filled with the Holy Ghost and have wisdom can definitely help us to shortcut and grow faster. And the last thing in this section, we learn that you know it's not only the leaders in the church that are responsible for unity and edification of the church. We all play a part and we all want to make sure we are doing our part. Number three, Paul encourages believers to walk in the new man and to put off the old man. You know, we shouldn't live like unbelieving, godless reprobates who are ignorant of God's truth, that don't care about the things of God, and they have a life characterized by the pleasures of this life. So let's really internalize and think about that our spiritual life can definitely impact the church. So don't be worldly. And the last section go, of this chapter goes on into practical exhortation. Don't lie. Resolve conflict swiftly and early. Don't steal. You know, use your words to build up rather than to tear down. And let's love and forgive one another as Christ loved and forgave us. So, hey, let's make sure we're doers of the word and not hearers only. And, and let's make an effort to follow the practical advice given to us in God's word. So if you want to listen to the whole sermon and get all the scriptures, uh, a link will be in the description down below and on the end screen. If you um, want to learn more about our church and go to our website, tcil.org.au. If this video was a blessing, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get more of our sermons. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always.